Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and today we're going to learn how to calculate the molality of a solution. One way of determining the concentration of a solution. So what is molality and how does it work? Well, in order to determine the molality of a solution, it's simple. We take the moles of solute that are dissolved in the solution and we divide it by the kilograms of the solvent. And in this unit, I told you guys that H2O or water is going to be the solvent. Uh, pretty much all the time. We're dealing with aqueous solutions, solutions in which water is the solvent. So to get the molality, or lowercase m, take the moles of solute, divide it by the kilograms of water or solvent, and you should end up with the molality of that solution. So let's take a look at an example. Let's suppose I have a beaker of water here, and this beaker of water has 0 0.25 kilograms in it. So we have a, a mass of solvent equal to 0 0.25 kilograms and what we're going to do is we're going to take some salt here and we're going to dissolve some salt. Specifically we're going to take 0 0.15 moles of salt. We're going to put it in here. We're going to stir it up and I want to know or we want to determine what the molality of this solution will be. Well right here it says to get the molality take the moles of solute which in this case is 0.15 divided by the kilograms of solvent, which is 0 0.25, and we should get our answer. So let's calculate this right here. To get the molality of this solution, take the moles of solute, which is 0 0.15, that's how many moles that we're dissolving in this solution here, and we're going to divide that by the kilograms of solvent, 0 0.25 kilograms. Okay. So if we put this in our calculator, we should end up with 0 0.60 moles per kilogram. This means for every one kilogram of solvent, or in other words, for every one kilogram of water, there will be 0 0.60 moles of this salt dissolved in it. And anytime we have this unit, moles per kilogram, it turns into a lowercase m which stands for the molality of the solution. So we have a 0 0.60 molal solution of salt water here. So that is how we're going to determine or calculate the molality of a solution. So let's take a look at the three formulas that we can manipulate or come up with by manipulating these, these variables here in the molality equation. Okay, we know that the molality of a solution is going to be equal to moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent. But what if we're asked to solve for the moles of solute? Well, if we multiply both sides of this equation or formula by kilograms, uh, by kilograms, they will cancel out right here. And what we end up with is moles of solute, moles of solute being equal to kilograms of solvent times the molality of the solution. So there's our second formula if we want to figure out the moles of solute that are dissolved in that solution. What if we want to figure out kilograms of solvent? What if we want to isolate this all by itself on one side of the equal sign? Well, I have to get rid of the molality from the right hand side, so I'll divide by it. I'll divide by molality. And what I do to that side, I have to do to this side. They will cancel out here. And kilograms is going to equal moles divided by molality kilograms equals moles divided by molality. So these are our three molality formulas that we can use to solve problems where we're working with molality, moles of solute, and kilograms of solvent. So let's work several different examples in which we apply these three formulas. Okay, in this first example here, we're going to calculate the molality of a solution. And it says a salt water solution has 2.55 moles of salt dissolved in 10 kilograms of water. Determine the solution's molality. So we're asked to find this lowercase m here. We're asked to solve for molality. So all we need to do here is take the moles of dissolved solute and divide it by the kilograms of solvent. So to get the molality here, we need to take the moles of salt, which it says right here is 2.55 moles. And we're going to end up dividing this by the mass of the water, the mass of the solvent, which it says right here is 10.0 kilograms. And when we put this in our calculator, we should end up with a molality of 0 0.255 moles per kilogram. So for every one kilogram of solvent, there will be 0.255 moles of salt dissolved in it. 
or we can simply say 0 0.255 lowercase m. And the way that we'd say this is that we have a 0 0.255 molal solution of salt water. Okay, so that is how we calculate the molality. Let's take a look at another example. All right, in this example here, it says if a solution has 4.5 kilograms of solvent and a molality of 1.35 times 10 to the negative fourth m, then how many moles of solute have been dissolved in it? So in this problem, if we take a look, we have the mass of the solvent right here. Here's our mass of the solvent. And we know the concentration of this solution. It tells us the concentration is 1.35 times 10 to the negative fourth m. That's the molality. And we want to figure out how many moles of solute are dissolved in there. So anytime we're asked to figure out the moles of solute, we take the mass of the solvent and we multiply it by the molality. So in this problem here, to get the moles of dissolved solute, we're going to take the mass of the solvent, which it says right here is 4.5 kilograms. And we're going to multiply that by the molality of the solution, which is 1.35 times 10 to the negative fourth. M. And when we put this in our calculator, let's see here, we have 4.5 times 1.35 times 10 to the negative fourth. We should end up with an answer of 6.075, or if we're using the correct number of sig figs, this should be 6.1 times 10 to the negative fourth moles. Okay. So how many moles of dissolved solute are there? Apparently there are 6.1 times 10 to the negative fourth moles. Let's take a look at another example. Okay, in this problem, in this third example, it says the molality of a solution is 1.5 m. If 6.5 moles of solute is dissolved in it, then determine the mass of the solvent. So in this problem here, we're trying to determine the mass of the solvent, the mass of the water. And we know that there are 6.5 moles of solute dissolved in it. And we also know that the concentration of the solution is 1.5 m. So in order to figure out the mass of the solvent, we take the moles of solute, which is 6.5, And we're going to end up dividing this by the molality, which is 1.5. And if we put this in our calculator and use the appropriate number of sig figs, we should end up with 4.3 kilograms. Anytime you have moles divided by molality here in your units, that can get converted to kilograms. So the mass of this solvent here, or the mass of the water, is 4.3 kilograms. Let's take a look at one more example. All right, in this fourth and final example, you are asked to calculate the molality of a solution that contains 70.5 grams of NaCl and 345 grams of water. Okay, so we have to make a lot of conversions here. And if you take a look, we are asked to determine the molality. So we know molality is equal to moles of solute divided by kilograms of solution. The problem here is that we have 70.5 grams of NaCl. So the first thing we're going to have to do is figure out the number of moles of solute. So to get the number of moles of solute here, I take 70.5 grams of NaCl. And I'm going to end up dividing this by the molar mass. I divide this by the molar mass of NaCl, which is 58 grams per mole. Okay, if you remember from an earlier unit, the way that we go from grams to moles is to divide by the molar mass of the substance. Sodium here is 23 and chlorine here is 35 from the periodic table. And when we take 70.5 divided by 58, we end up with 1.216 it looks like. We'll call it 1.22 moles of NaCl. So this is not our final answer. This is just the number of moles here. 
Okay, this is just going to be the number of moles of dissolved solute. And if we take a look, we now need to divide this by the kilograms of solvent. It tells us that we have 345 grams of water. So if we have 345 grams of water, and I want to convert this to kilograms, the way I do that is by taking this decimal right here and moving it three times left. If I do that, I will end up with 0 0.345 kilograms. So now we know how many kilograms of solvent we have. We know how many moles of solute we have. To get the molality, I simply take the moles of solute, which we found was 1.22, And we're going to divide that by the kilograms of solvent, which is 0 0.345. We'll get our calculator out and take 1.22 divided by 3.45. I'm sorry, 1.22 divided by 0 0.345. And we end up with a molality of 3.54, it looks like. 3.54 moles per kilogram, which we can turn this into 3.54 lowercase m. So the molality of this solution is 3.54 m or we have a 3.54 molal solution for every one kilogram of solvent uh, there's going to be 3.54 moles of solute dissolved in it so this is molality and i hope this was helpful